We've been driving through Brazil for four months now, and it's been full of adventures. It's been quite a challenge trying to find a good balance of work and travel. Whenever we find a place with sufficient infrastructure, we become stationary for a couple of weeks to get some work done. In the end though, we want to see as much of the country as possible. As part of our full immersion program, we were invited to spend a weekend at the farm Fazenda Petrolina Oito in the mountains of the Municipio Curachinga in the state of Bahia. The Fazenda is located in Duas Barras, near the village Cajuta, and approximately a three-hour drive from Porto Seguro. In the middle of nowhere, with no cell phone connection, and an amazing mountain range surrounding the Fazenda and its neighboring farms. The generous hosts were Isabel and Wolfgang, an adorable couple that portrays the perfect mix of Brazilian chattiness and relaxed Bavarian mentality. Isabel and her neighbors made us feel incredibly welcome and we had a nice time exploring the surroundings. The farm is located in the middle of a natural reserve in the Atlantic Forest, and the area can be used for environmental education and research activities. What we saw here at the farm was different from anything we had seen before in Brazil. Being so close to the mountains and forest offers a great hideaway with picturesque scenery and protected nature. What is very special about this area is the impressive mountains. When locals told us that they had never heard of anyone who climbed the steep slopes of these mountains, we decided to get a closer look with our drone. What we saw was breathtaking and provides great nature footage of Fazenda Petrolina Oito. Take a look. One rock formation in particular caught our interest. The mountain right in front of the farms got a really interesting shape. It's also home to a multitude of birds, so we didn't want to get too close.
Isabel is an incredible survival artist who could probably live off cacao, coconuts, and spring water if you left her there. She guided us through the forest and explained how to survive in case of the next apocalypse. Trying to find water in the woods. She even made us plant a cacao tree next to her house that's gonna grow there until we come back next time. This is uh, the cacao. <laughs> the fazenda can be visited by people who are interested in the area and provides plenty of space for campers as well. If you want to experience this amazing piece of nature, check out the information in the description below. You look like you're out of an adventure movie. You and the two kids and the dog are fighting against the jungle. And now the dog's coming my way again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I have his balls in my For us, the journey <laughs> still shelter. continues. At this point, we want to say thank you to everyone we've met on our trip. People who have welcomed us with open arms and have shown interest in our lives and work. We hope to see you all again someday soon. And until then, keep up with our adventures around Brazil and the rest of South America.